Okay guys, today is uh, Wednesday morning, about 8.06, and uh, guess what, we got rain, we got a hurricane coming in Florida, and so it's uh, raining today, and it may rain all day, I don't know, um, but we're headed back to the promised land and uh, we trust we got about 250 miles to go I have drove through the rain just about all the way about four hours in the rain our temperature is 66 and uh, it's not too bad Raise my windshield up a little bit. That's the good thing about the Gold Wing, and, and this is an opportunity to try out the uh, V Stream too. They, you know, I put the new V Stream on here, and I've got it way too low. It's about by my jaw right here. Let's try it right there. I can see pretty good right there. It's just a different dimension of riding when you ride in the rain. And again, as long as you can see, uh, look at the, mount the mountains up here. The clouds covering the mountains. Foggy. I was hoping it wasn't going to rain till uh, later on this evening. And it's uh, <clears throat> this is day is Wednesday. I think it's uh, October the 9th, and uh, yeah, I can appreciate that bigger windshield right here now, I tell you. Uh, but again, it pops up. Now notice the uh, B Street. I got the plastic rain X on the V-Stream and uh, the water is just, you know, beating right off of it. Plus, V-Stream puts a uh, water repellent on it too, a coating. So, between that and the uh, rain X for plastic, remember that, rain X for plastic, not regular rain X. It'll mess up a, these plastic windshields. Ooh, what a bridge here. And you got walls on this bridge. You got if you have good tires on your motorcycle, you don't fear the uh the wetness in the pavement that much. Cold Spring Highway 19 West. Now this is a good highway right here. I know what this is going to take me. Highway 19 West, remember that, because I think 28 comes off of this, 28. And when you get on 28, that's a twisty, curvy road. This road will take you to Robbinsville South from Bryson City, but um, we get on 28, which is on our left, that's a twisty, curvy road, and uh, it's got to be a close cousin to Tale of the Dragon, and I don't know if that many people know about 
Highway 28. And this is Highway 28. We're coming up on Highway 28 now. That was quick. And it's about the hour and 15 minutes or so, I think, uh, to uh, Highway 441 on the other side by Tallulah Gorge, which is the way I go back anyway. And I haven't had any coffee or anything to uh, eat yet. You know, you always feel better when you have something in the morning before you begin your trip out. And I'm not even going to park it under the canopy because I got my Zook suit on, right? My Zook suit. Now my camera, actually, my eyes are, I don't know how far it's in, my thumb is pointing at my eyes and my camera is up here by my fingers. I guess it's probably the right line, probably the right line. So. I'm using my cell phone for GPS right now, so uh, I put it in a plastic zipper bag where I can see it and it won't get wet. Nice little store, King's Grocery Store. That would be where you're looking at right here. Texaco sign. The sign here says North 19. I was coming South 19 from Bryson City. And on my left right here, at King's Grocery uh, is Highway 28 right here where that dish van is going. If you want a twisty curvy, guys, check that one out. It's still, it's going to be like an hour trip, though. Uh, it's fairly long. Okay, this is the closest thing I can find to a uh, coffee right now. And we are ready to shake, rattle, and roll. What the windshield up here? So I don't know you tell. See how this window fogs up a little bit? That's not. You can still see through it, but uh, on that big one, if you're in the rain, good rainstorm, you couldn't see through the thing hardly. I mean, it was. 15, 20% visibility. And, uh, so we're leaving King's Grocery. And again, sign over there says Robbinsville straight ahead and then uh, Andrews and Fontana, Fontana Lake, Fontana Dam. All great places to see. It's Robbinsville, straight that way, Andrews, Murphy's, Fontana. But again, this is 28. Alright, this is 28. Dot Beauty Salon. Where it's raining really hard, torrential rain, the clouds are dark and low. If you're in an airplane, like commercial airplane, you can look down and you can see that uh, storm, <clears throat> excuse me, over the city. Here's a little twisty curve here. And uh, you can see the storm over the city, but when, you, in a, when you're in an airplane, commercial airplane, you look up and as far as you can see, straight out in front of you, all the way around you, you got blue skies and you got the white clouds below you. So right above these uh, dark clouds and this rain is all those blue clouds and they're there all day long. No matter how much torrential rain you get, how dark it is down here above those clouds, it's always blue and beautiful. And uh, that was really amazing to me when I first got on a commercial plane way, way back. You see how this road right here? We just got on this road. We haven't gone a mile yet. And we already got this twisty turn. And 
and look at the clouds coming up. That's the other thing that I love about um, the mountains is that everything that you see changes somewhat during the rain and after the rain. It's beautiful. And again, you get all the changes you see, like the fog coming up, the clouds over the mountain tops, and all that stuff is so beautiful uh, in the rain. And again, if you've got good tires on your motorcycle, uh, you don't have to worry about you know having a wreck or sliding off. You got to make these curves now. I would slow down a little bit going in these curves and stuff. Now remember after uh, when the rain first starts, it takes about 15, 20 minutes for the oil to lift up off the uh, pavement and start washing away. So you don't want to be really going really fast when it's just starting to rain. That's the easiest time to have a wreck. Yeah, I, I've never heard anybody talk about this highway before, Highway 28. And uh, this, is, this road is like this all the way, guys. It's twisty, turning like this. And it, you can see it's paved real well. Now, you're going to see me uh, wipe the lens on this camera because I don't know, you know. I've seen it get drops of rain on it and it just stays there and it just kind of obscures your view. Look at that guy. Wow. That is so pretty. I came up here to North Carolina Saturday. Go up here Saturday. And I was in the saddle for a long time. I left the house about 10, and uh, it was about 8 o'clock before I found a hotel. I went to the Dragon, Tell of the Dragon, and uh, a lot of stuff going on at Tell of the Dragon. It was a great time up there. A Camaro show with some of the best looking Camaros and souped up Camaros I've ever seen. And they were riding the uh, Tell of the Dragon, and maybe like, I saw like, 20 uh, of these farm-made cars, uh, imports, that were look like they come out of the movie Fast and Furious. Probably about 20 of those cars, and they were racing the Dragon too. And uh, eight BMWs, really nice ones, some pretty expensive ones, that were driving the Dragon too on uh, you know, having fun, uh, racing up and down it. And some other cars, Corvettes, all that stuff. And, and then the deal gap was slapped full of motorcycles. Was, I don't know, several hundred motorcycles there. And uh, it was like a, a honeybee nest where you see people coming and going, coming and going. And I rode that all the way down at the end by Harley Davidson. I had the Camaro show and then came back to the Dragon, uh, to Bill's Gap. And then on to Robbinsville. I saw Chioa, damn, C H E O A, I think, <clears throat> where they made the movie The Fugitive, part of it, where Harrison Ford jumps off the dam. But I rode, I was on the bike, you know, and I'd get off, you know, some of the scenic places and walk around and stuff like that too, but it's about 10 hours. Now see this curvy right here? <clears throat> Going down the mountain. I feel a little rain, but I think it's maybe just falling from the trees. 
And there's an overlook up here on the hill somewhere. Um, depending on how you hit it. A motorcycle, you just kind of like catapult it. Probably over it, right? That's why it's so important to watch the road. The only thing about this road, with, uh, with its twisties and curvies and all, is that uh, I don't really see them a lot of people riding this fast, like, you know, try truck it, because they got houses here. Uh, people coming in and out, blind driveways, kind of, you know. Yeah, kids, that's kids that grows up these trees right here. Sometimes when you're driving through the mountain, you can get a little disoriented whether you're going up or down, or you're just not paying attention, but you can feel your transmission whine and let you know whether you're going uphill or downhill. And sometimes it's so gradual of a decline or an incline that you might not know it. See, we're just weaving back and forth. I'm telling you, man, this road is incredible. It's well worth just coming up this way to ride it. Now here, nobody behind me. I stopped here one time before. I do not like gravel. You see the fog here? We come like from over there. And power. But that's the beauty of the morning time too after the rain. Now see the clouds are blue right there, that looks good. This looks rainy. I don't know why, it's like Charlie Brown or somebody always have a cloud following you sometimes. Not all the time, but there's a chance of rain, it seems like that happens. Now this gravel stuff right here, I don't, I don't like gravel. Um, you know, when you start to push your bike off a little bit and your foot slips, and it will, like having your feet on marble sometimes, your foot will slip. If your foot slips too bad, it can cause you to drop the bike. And, and don't use your front brakes in gravel. Look over there, man. You see the, the clouds and the fog and all on top of the mountains. got a cemetery look over here guys they got a cemetery on the hill you hardly can, can hardly see it so that's one two three four five six seven eight big turkeys man nine nine turkeys up there that's the only thing about GoPro that it doesn't show things that far away that well those are whoa guys <clears throat> Now look at this rock cliff. I remember coming to this rock cliff. This is so pretty. Look at the different colors of rock here. Like a rainbow color of rocks. Isn't that beautiful? So they got some neat scenic things here too. Uh, and you see the trees are starting to, uh, the leaves are starting to change. Uh, there's nobody behind me, and I always keep saying that, look behind you, look behind you. Oh, look at this right here, guys. The mountains there and the clouds covering the mountains. You can see the tip top of the mountain. Wow. And it feels
feels so good this morning. The temperature is 64 degrees. 64 degrees this morning. So it feels good. It's not cold at all to me, which I got the rain jacket on. And uh I talked to a guy yesterday, he had a Ducati, I forgot what it was called, Scrambler, I think, Ducati Scrambler, it looks like the cafe uh, sports bike, and his bike weighed, I think he told me like 400 pounds, and I mean, those guys, they can skin it back in the mountain, it's unreal how fast they can go in the mountain, and uh, on those kind of bikes, they're really light bikes like that, it really is zero gravity, kind of. But that's just a thought, you know. You can go uphill about as fast as you can go downhill almost on a motorcycle. You don't have that lag like you do in a vehicle. Plus you got the wind here blowing across your face. and You can see no windows around you except this windshield here. 